Hi, Dean and Xavier. Hope you're having a great day today. Uh, this is a response back to your video sent uh, the other day. Um, had a chance to review it and look over it. Looks good. I like it. I like how the, the melody kind of melody really flows. The notes are like God or they're connected from one to the next. I really like how that sounded. Um, so keep up the good work on that. What I would work on uh, with with that uh, with that song is actually going to the D scale. Um, since that's where kind of the, the issue lies, is that when I saw you playing, um, the hand kind of pulled back really far this way. We almost like rotated the, 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 on, the, on the index finger right there. What I would work on is making sure that, see I'm kind of staying over top of my frets. So when you play your D scale, really focus on making sure your fingers are staying right over top of the fretboard and not doing stuff like say like this, and then rotating like this right here. So practice A, D, A, D. Now, it took a while for me to get to get this down myself so everyone wouldn't build it in one night, but what we should try for is making sure that we keep our fingers right over top. And the other thing I would watch out for too is that um, he was playing, you were playing really great, Xavier. Um, you were really focused, and as soon as you looked at the camera, you lost your place in the song and got distracted by your mom, uh, or by your mom recording the video. So what I would actually do is play the distraction where you try to actually make him like, you know, you know, like look over here, that kind of stuff, or, or try to you know, you know, get him to look away from what he's doing. I think if you work on those things, the piece will be even better than it already is. All right, I'll see you guys next week. Bye.